Lumen Technologies. Give us an example of a program that you'd like to highlight in regards to the ZTA. Uh, that's a great one. So I, I have to commend a few different agencies that we're working with on their recognition that it's time to adopt and, and transform. <clears throat> Some agencies are a little bit more risk averse than others. And I think that CISOs and CIOs are constantly balancing that management of risk with network transformation and figuring out a path where you can develop parallels and try to avoid a lot of the congruencies that you see between those two. I think of secure access, service, service edge. I think of SD-WAN integration into an agency topology as they're moving away from legacy networks such as MPLS and moving forward into internet bound environments that you still need to main, manage and maintain that risk framework and the, the integration of our TIC infrastructure, the trusted inter, internet connection infrastructure, where they have the policy enforcement points associated with that. Several agencies we're seeing as they're moving from one contract to another, they're taking that adoption opportunity to bring in new tech capabilities and new technologies, leveraging the benefits of partners such as Palo Alto, integrating into a network service provider such as Lumen, and being able to get the benefits and the economies of scale to really build out that zero trust framework. I think it's fair to say that malware, malware attacks are here to stay and they're gonna be constant. We're all likely to undergo some type of exploitative event inside of the agency or your organization. The bad actors are prevalent and they're ever evolving. It's the only way that we can really focus on recognizing that we're going to have bad events, events that are gonna take place. So build up a framework and a policy that includes that DR and coop capability to mitigate those zero day events. Work with your vendors and your agent and your partners to allow for an understanding of that policy adoption to in, incorporate security event monitoring, automation of the 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 um, application um, integration that that takes place to ensure that we are able to manage the downtime, minimize the impact, and recognize that you're constantly going to be under attack. So work with and partner with your vendors and your your customers um, in order to ensure that that you're, you're building out the, the right architecture. So I do wanna commend a lot of the agencies that we're working with as they're moving forward to that zero trust architecture, moving into that world of identity management. You have human and non-human entities. Machine learning is certainly ever, ever prevalent and that machine to machine interaction is gonna be constant. And so building out the APIs and the enforcement points and being able to incorporate that into the security domain while recognizing that there's constant attack coming in from the outside, managing those attacks, recognizing the overall risk posture associated with that, and then developing that policy optimization through governance and compliance will be a huge benefit to, to how agencies are be able to be successful. So we have a few that we've been working with as they're going through that transformation from that legacy MPLS environment over to internet. We really want to commend them on that adoption of that zero trust framework that they're incorporating into their overall framework as they're moving to SD-WAN, secure access service edge.